<laughs> you got to play a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, just let me give it a, an E chord. Or, uh, <laughs> he walks in and goes, nobody touches my guitar. Boom! Keith Richards is a famous English musician, guitarist, singer-songwriter, actor, composer, film producer, and record producer, who's well known for being the co-founder, secondary vocalist, and guitarist of the Rolling Stones. The band has sold more than 200 million records globally, and they still tour consistently. Let me also tell you that the Rolling Stones have toured the world 48 times and played in front of over 50 million people. Rolling Stone magazine called him the creator of rock's greatest single body of riffs on guitar. Back in 2011, the magazine also ranked him number four on its list of the 100 best guitarists. Richards has appeared in three Pirates of the Caribbean films as Captain Teague, Jack Sparrow's father. Rolling Stone magazine lists 14 songs Richards co-wrote with Jagger on its list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Keith Richards, but he's also known as Keith and the Human Riff. He was born December 18, 1943 in Dartford, Kent, England, making him 76 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.74 meters or 5 feet 8 inches tall. The favorite hobby of this guitarist is dog walking, and he enjoys taking the family pet out for some exercise. The star sign of Keith is Sagittarius, and he weighs approximately 63 kilograms or 139 pounds. Since 1970, this guitarist has worn a skull ring on the third finger of his right hand. Let me also tell you that Keith wants to open a guitar museum. Playing guitar has always been an obsession of this man, and his mother bought his first ever guitar. He even has a collection of more than 3,000 guitars. Moreover, Chuck Berry's been an inspiration for Keith. For several years, this man slept only two nights per week, and he started listening to music when he was only three years old. During his struggling life, Keith shared a flat with Brian Jones and Jagger. Did you know that Keith has insured his hands for $1.6 million? Keith is a supporter of the protest group Artists United Against Apartheid. This group was founded by record producer Arthur Baker and performer Stephen Van Zandt to protest apartheid in South Africa in 1985. They produced the album titled Sun City, which raised over $1 million for anti-apartheid projects. Keith has such tight veins that his doctors struggled to find them, and when Richards took heroin, he had to inject it into his muscles. Richards likes to hug, and he's revealed that he would often go to bed with women just for a little hug and kiss. In 1967, he started dating actress Anita Pallenberg. The pair welcomed their first son, Marlon Leon Suddy, in 1969. Then in 1972, their daughter Angela was born. Keith and Anita also had another son named Tara Jojo Gunn, who died on June 6, 1976. Before Keith started dating Anita, Anita was involved with Brian Jones. In 1979, the pair broke up. During the same year, Keith met Patty Hansen. And on Keith's 40th birthday, he married model and actress Patty Hansen. They have two daughters, including Theodora Dupree and Alexandra Nicole. Keith has five grandchildren. How do you do this, man? You know, I mean, what's the secret? You know, well, you take one of these, you smoke it a little bit. He was born to Herbert Richards and Doris Dupree Richards in Dartford, and Keith was their only child. Herbert worked at a factory and was wounded in World War II during the Normandy invasion. Ernie and Eliza were Keith's paternal grandparents, who were socialists and civic leaders. The family of his great-grandfather originated from Wales, Augustus Theodore Dupree. Keith's maternal grandfather toured Britain with a jazz band called Gus Dupree and his boys. This was the reason Richards became interested in the guitar. Dupree gifted Keith his first guitar, during his childhood, Keith played at home and listened to recordings by Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, and Billie Holiday. The guitarist attended Wentworth Primary School, and Mick Jagger also went to this school. And between the years of 1955 and 1959, Keith went to Dartford Technical High School for Boys. 
He was expelled from Dartford Technical High School for truancy and transferred to Sidcup Art College. At Sidcup, he met Dick Taylor and was diverted from his studies. Keith would spend more time playing the guitar with other students in the boys' room. Eventually, Keith dropped out of college and moved to London to become a part of the amateur band called Little Boy Blue and the Blue Boys. Keith joined a rock band called the Rolling Stones in 1962. The band included Brian Jones, Mick Jagger, and Ian Stewart. They played their first gig at the Marquee Club in July 1962. The next year, they released their first single titled Come On. And in autumn of 1963, the Rolling Stones recorded the single I Want to Be Your Man. Lennon and McCartney wrote this single. Then in 1965, the band released another song titled I Can't Get No Satisfaction, which was written by Jagger and Key. The song is considered one of the all-time greatest rock songs ever recorded. Keith played bass guitar for the song called Sympathy for the Devil, which was the opening track of the album called Beggar's Banquet. In 1972, Keith performed as the lead vocalist for the song Exile on Main Street during the Rolling Stones tour. The next year, the band released the album called Goat's Head Soup, which was a huge success. This guitarist joined the New Barbarians tour in 1979 and played the keyboard. In 1980, the hit album Emotional Rescue of the Rolling Stones was released, which topped charts in the UK and the United States. From 1989 to 1990, the band went on a global tour and performed 115 shows in Japan, Europe, and the United States. Keith paid tribute to Chuck Berry and Leonard Cohen at the JFK Presidential Library in Boston in 2012. That same year, this man played guitar at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony. We happen to love each other. Um, she can put up with me, which is very difficult to find a woman, especially one as beautiful as that that will put up with me and my lifestyle, or at least, you know, just my, my nature of my job, you know. I'm not saying it's difficult, but it's a juggle. My wife's made it very easy for me. Keith Richards has earned millions of dollars as a successful guitarist and musician. He's mainly accumulated his net worth from albums, which he released as a solo artist and with the Rolling Stones. Richards has also authored two books. In 1988, the album titled Talk is Cheap in the United States was released. More than 500,000 copies of this album were sold, which helped Keith earn $750,000. In 2015, Richards sold his classic Bentley at a British auction house, Bonhams, for $1.5 million. The total net worth of Keith Richards is $500 million. Richards owns several properties, including a house in Weston, Connecticut, while his primary residence is his house in Weston, Keith also owns a property on the private resort island Parrot Cay in the Turks and Caicos Islands. In 1966, Keith bought the Redlands Mansion after winning tremendous fame with the Rolling Stones. He'd always wanted the path to move beside his house in West Sussex so that walkers could see straight into his garden. This was the main reason Keith purchased the Redlands Mansion. Back in 1971, Keith and Pallenberg moved with their first son to a French villa called Nelcott. Keith Richards owns the following cars, a Bentley 53 Continental Flying Spur, a 1950 Pontiac Chieftain Silver Street Convertible, A 1972 Ferrari Dino 246 GT. A 1983 Ferrari 400i.
1947 Mercedes-Benz convertible.